Hey guys, how's it going? So we're back with the uh, Go Labs R300 portable power station. So I just wanted to uh, give y'all a little update. So I did wind up buying the PD60W uh, charger for it. Um, I have already checked it out and it does charge faster than the other one. So I wanted to show you guys uh, the charging options for it as far as those two uh, when plugging them in. Um, so you have your standard wall charger which is this one right here and we'll zoom in on the uh, on the display here so your standard wall charger comes from a, a 110 120 outlet and you plug it in so it shows as it goes back up uh, it comes in around 41 watts that you're charging at so with 41 watts you can see a little bit closer 41 watts uh, input on the standard charging um, cable that came with it. So let's unplug that and then we'll get it back down to zero so there's no charge, still 99 hours and then we'll plug in the PD60W uh, charger and then you can see it go, it'll ramp itself up slowly so 4, 7, 11, 19, 21, 27, 31, 35 39, 43, 47, 50, 54, 55, 56. So 54 is the highest I've seen it, so it's up to 55, 56 now. So you can see um, it does put out more wattage than the, uh, than the standard wall charger does. So if you needed a faster charge, obviously the more watts going in, the faster it's going to charge your system. So what I was wondering is if you had a modem and... Uh, router and a TV plugged into this thing um, if you could use it as a, uh, a UPS so if the power did go out you would still have this um, and utilize this so that uh, you don't lose your TV lose internet or whatever so I do have my uh, TV plugged in to this thing so um, right now you can see the AC is off uh, there'll be a display that shows up here whenever the AC comes on so we'll turn that on and right now you can see the watts go down because it's utilizing the backup part of the TV over there. I don't know if you can see it um, kind of glowing red over there or not. Let's see that little light came on for the TV. So um, that's why it's, it's come down from its 55 charging. So let's go ahead and power the TV on so you can see that it will run a TV. The TV doesn't really draw too much. I think it's like 65 watts or something, which is pretty good for a 43-inch TV. So you can see power's on. I don't know if you can see that, actually. So the TV's power, powering on just fine. And it takes a minute to run through everything. So as it's going, you can see the wattage go down on the power generator. So now we're at zero. Um, I do wish that this thing had a negative or positive inrush or outrush or whatever that's called um, to show whether it's giving you more watts or if it's actually taking watts. So I'm not really sure you know how that works out. But so now we're charging with the uh, 60 PD uh, W charger and we have the TV on. You can see the TV is on there. Um, so that way. We're, we're running the TV with the Go Labs um, with just the, the charger there. And it's showing that it looks like it's going to run infinitely with the charging like that. So I'm assuming we're probably still putting in 18 watts, maybe 20 watts, because it's still charging and it's not discharging. It's hard to see. So this just says USB C, that says AC, that just shows that that's on. And it's still cho showing a charge status. So it looks like we're still charging with 17 watts, 19 watts. So I would assume, let's see, let's check out our wheel. I don't know why he always wants to play this on my thing. We'll see if, okay, well now just, let me try to keep that display on for you. So now 33 watts, so this is still charging. So maybe that's what we're using. Because I'm sure as you turn the volume up on it, which I don't want to blow you your ears out here, as the volume will go up on it, it'll pull more watts out of it. 
if I can even get online here. It's always a hard time keeping a good online status. Well, maybe we won't even get online. Um, Yeah, we may not be online, guys, um, so I won't be able to do that, and I don't really have anything else I could play uh, with that. Well, it's slowly, slowly going up here. So as, okay, so as YouTube decides it wants to start working here, let's, uh, let's show other things. So I have my little tablet here, so I'm going to charge my little tablet with the, uh, one of the USB devices. So we'll turn the USB device on, and that's that little thing right there. Turn the USB device on, and as you can see, my little tablet kicked on, so now it's charging. So you can charge the tablet. You can plug a phone into there. You can play um, your YouTube stuff on there. And depending on what, uh, let's see. It doesn't seem to want to play that video for some reason. Let's try another video. I just want to see what the watts do whenever we're playing that video there. So 37, 35, yeah, and uh, our internet seems to be a pain in the butt right now. So let's just go home. In this video, we're going to be talking about how an automatic trans... Okay, so you saw it bumped up to 42, 43 watts, 42 watts there. Um, so you can see it does utilize a little bit more. Now, there we go. And how do you use this one? So as the volume goes up, I'm assuming it's going to pull your system. 40. So how yeah. this works is you connect it to public power or the grid. So you can see as I turn the volume up, it's pulling just a little bit more watts. And then I just muted it, so it's bumped down just a little bit. Um, obviously, the speakers, the higher you go up in the volume, the more watts it's going to pull. So we'll just play Will in the background there. He's my secret little hero there. Um, but uh, So you can see it's still charging. Um, we're sitting around 97, 98%, but it's not showing how many hours are left on it. Um, so I'm assuming that it's charging more than uh, what we're pulling. So let me pull the uh, PD60 out, so that, and we'll see what this goes down to. Seven, six, five, five hours, probably four, yeah, I was going to say. Four hours. So we're at 97%. And it's running 90 watts, charging my tablet, and running the TV. So pulling 90 watts. Um, so about three hours. So let's plug in the standard charger. So with the standard charger plugged in, again, it's not really giving us any hours. So I guess we don't have a big enough load on it um, to show that we can only run it like this for a certain amount of hours. Or it just doesn't give you hours while you're charging. So um, not to bore you guys with keeping it like this or running it to see how long it does it. But um, it's interesting that it's not showing any, any hours that you'd be able to use it. Um, okay, so I plugged in uh, one of those little Coleman refrigerator style um, DC fridges. It's not really a fridge. It just uses that cooling technique with the fins and everything. So it only drops it around 10 or 15 degrees cooler than the ambient. Um, but I plugged it in. It's going through my DC um, outlet there. So it's pulling total with the TV running and that thing attempting to cool down. It's running about 150 watts. So uh, let's plug in the uh, PD60 charger and see what we do here. It's going to back off here. So we're about 150-ish. So you can see... Still 150, dropping 146, 143, 139, 135, 133. So it goes down as you're charging it and you're still drawing watts. So this is a good show of like how many watts total you're using and about the 50 um, watts you're getting in from the charging system itself. So that PD60 charger. So let's pull the PD60 charger out and then we'll pull in. So that's 103 watts. That it's using total so now it's good popping it back up into the 150s and then we'll use the standard wall charger we'll let it reset itself and then you can see 
instead of 103, we're about 113 to 114, 112 to 114. Didn't like that 113, huh? Uh, 112 to 114. So you're using a net loss, I guess, of 113 with the standard charger. And then I think it's 102 is what we said with the PD60 charger. So it just shows you can charge while you're utilizing stuff. It does extend your the hours that you can uh, use like your TV or like I said, if you had your modem and router plugged into it um, as a backup, you could, you know, for hours you could run your, uh, your little Go Labs uh, from it. Like it's only a 299 watt hour um, station. So don't expect to get days out of it, but um, it's a pretty cool little uh, little system for doing that. That's also with me charging my tablet. Let's plug that dude out. So now we're so now it's only at 93, not even charging the tablet. Um, but like I said, the reason we got it was realistically for the TV uh, to keep the internet running if we ever had a power outage um, for the kids because we wouldn't be able to run a fridge on it very long at that point. You know, we would just take the all the food outside um, whenever we had that little cold snap come through. Uh, so we would have done that instead of uh, trying to run a fridge off this or a freezer off this. Um, but uh, it was more for, you know, entertainment purposes, uh, charging phones, things like that. Um, we do have inverters in our cars, and I did actually order a inverter um, so that we could run it off uh, the battery of the car for a little bit. Uh, so we'll once that comes in, we'll look at that and see how how that works. But uh, but that's it. I just wanted to show you guys some of the charging options for it with um, the PD60 and then just the regular standard wall charger, um, just to see how well it uh, it charges while you're running something. Um, we got the TV going and it's still only pulling 30 watts uh, just by charging with the PD60 and running the uh, TV. So. Um, hope you enjoyed this little bit of information. Uh, it's a cool little product. I'll uh, link my charger that I bought in the description below as well as a link with this Go Labs. I believe it's still on sale for $199, which I feel like is a pretty good deal. Um, but, you know, that's up to you guys to decide. So thanks for watching. I'll see you.